I shall be your shield. Blessing upon friends! Well, it's about damn time. We are steadfast in the face of peril. Don't underestimate a Nephilim. Stormwind honors those who serve. This is only the beginning of our journey. My wrath shall not be quenched. Your deeds bring honor to us all. By steel or fang, we will prevail. Not even death can save you from me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Weenus, and I'm joined this evening by Peach. Peach, hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. How you doing? I am super excited. That's the first time I co-cast ever, and I'm really familiar with the teams that are playing tonight, so I'm really excited to see what the future holds. First casting experience ever. <laughs> Woo! Actually, I have a kazoo around here somewhere. I gotta find that. Where's my kazoo? Where's my kazoo? Here we go. All right. You need it. Here, here it's, it's the it's the Where's fun it? the fun music is. <laughs> All right. I told Peach we were gonna have fun, so we're gonna have some fun. We have some oh, excellent. Yeah. We have some excellent teams tonight. We are in Div E East with Regen Rebel currently in first versus Thirty Seconds to Mosh currently. Mosh. Mosh currently in third place. So. First place versus third place in Div E East. There are some points to be given to these teams, and it could possibly have uh, a little bit of a placement or at least set up playoffs in a different way, which are coming up soon. Regen Rebel is 22 and 3 as far as maps, and 30 seconds to Mosh is 16 and 7. Welcome on into chat, friends. Sorry, I missed a couple people. See, Peach is being cheered in chat right now. Wait, what? Check it out. What yeah, on? you might have. You might want to open up chat because um, you'll. I you can, will. I will. Because all your fans are coming out. There's all. It's all the peach. All the peach oh trees God, are shaking. <laughs> it should be teams. Teams cheers, but not. <laughs> all right, we can't. We can't make Peach it. laugh too much because she hasn't yeah. been feeling well. So just enough. <laughs> Here we go. Just enough to where we don't kill her and uh, she's she survives. Uh, Anything for friends. Looks like our lobby is is filling up, so we'll we'll get into it in just a second. Um, we're gonna pop on over to the maps just for a quick second and see what happened and where we're headed first. Okay, Regen Rebel won the coin toss. They wanted first hero pick. They banned out Cursed Hollow and Sky Temple. Thirty seconds to mosh. Banned out Braxis and Tomb of the Spider Queen, and they're taking us to. Volskaya first. Hopefully that's what shows up on the screen. I may have pushed the wrong buttons, Peach. Well, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> if I push the wrong, wrong buttons, it actually closes the stream down because it tries to switch scene collections and OBS just totally poots all over the place. But anyways, don't okay. That. Yeah, that's, that's not healthy for your stream. All right, I'm gonna let them know that we are ready. Oh yeah. Whenever, whenever they are, and we will, we will get going. I think we did. We go to the wrong lobby when we started. Did we go to the the uh, the Aram Volskaya Industries uh, instead of Foundry? I don't know. <laughs> Industry? No, I see Volskaya Foundry. I don't know where you at. With I was hanging out in the wrong lobby, and I I sw I alt tab and I came back, and no one was there. They just completely ghosted me and in, into this channel, into the lobby, and I was like, oh hey, that's man. Rude. It's it's like yeah, it's like rude. my friends in real life when I'm like I'll be right back guys I just gotta go to oh. the bathroom and I come back out and everybody has left their cars are gone they've changed addresses uh, and telephone numbers and uh, then I have to go make new friends and then just you being lonely and watching the sunset and, and it's so sad it's re it's really sad yeah. I said it was gonna be fun okay no more about my social life hey Chad can we can we just give a little bit of hype for this lovely man for he needs <laughs> friends. He needs oh, friends. more friends! <laughs> yeah, more, what? more friends! Uh, <laughs> everybody, if you haven't already, you uh, you should follow this lovely lady Peach at twitch.tv slash the MV Peach, which I just love that name, actually. Uh, <laughs> and I think is it is it for uh, is it for 
Is it for a reason? You call me MVP for a reason. MVP for a reason. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm. I have not been on for a while due to some life stuff going on, but I'm planning on coming back as soon as I feel better and figure out Same. my schedule. Same Peach. Same. Yeah. I, uh, in fact, at one point I broke it. Yes, I broke it! Yes. Oh. Yes, I did. All right. Let me make sure I'm in the right settings for these scenes. Looks like we have both these teams ready to go, and I think we're about to hop into draft. If you're joining us in chat, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming out and supporting the teams. I think we're just about to get into our draft lobby. Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's the most wholesome usage of a peach emote I've ever used. <laughs> well done. Well done, Ektar. Well done. Ektar, yeah. <laughs> where's where's finish the drink? See, I told you. I told you, Peach. I told you I had to what? turn that off. That I have a channel rewards for finish pound your drink. And I, oh, I that's told right. Peach, I was like, I'm drinking this huge water bottle. I need to turn that off because yep. I am not chugging all this water. No lace is just waiting. Is good. No water is good. Just drink water, people. Waiting, yeah. waiting to redeem that. All right, so Regen Rebel is going to uh, get the first ban, first pick. It's so unusual to see all this stuff from a different perspective. You have no idea. When you probably get used to the casting, you're like, mm, nah, mm, whatever. The only, the only but... thing I get used to is making mistakes. Uh, but you know what's not a mistake? First banning Jaina. <laughs> Interesting. Is that a target ban? It's gotta be. It's not a Walmart ban. It's definitely gotta be a Target ban. Mm -hmm. Did you just say Walmart ban? Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with Walmart? I mean, yeah, but... Are you familiar with Target? Yeah. There we go. It's just a bad pun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here we go. You got the Target bans and the Walmart bans, and there's another... Hey! There's a Target ban for sure, because I know that yes. Taco loves... Yes. Loves the ice. I can't say what he calls her, but loves loves the icy May tank. And so, uh, thirty seconds to watch gonna take that away. And I think that's an excellent idea. Yeah, when I used to be in the e, we would face Takos May a couple of times. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where's the where's Go the here it is. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we did have a patch. <laughs> We did we did have a patch and Johanna got some nerfing uh, as well as Rhaegar and there were some buffs here and there for Cassia and the like but and Rhaegar there were some nerfs as well. Do you think that Johanna is still first pick worthy? Well, if you ask me my worst role, I would say that would be a tank. But Joe has been really popular among old players lately and even even. The, the latest patch maybe won't stop JoJo lovers, and I believe that it still can be a first pick worthy, pretty much. Because now, imagine like people, everybody read read the patch, and now they're like, oh, now I'm finally gonna get my Jo back, and I'll be able to play her. Baby, nope. come back. Nope. Although I do think <laughs> JoJo lovers would be an interesting an interesting team name, so we might have to, to check that out. Stukov, first Stukov. pick from Regen uh, Rebel. And the Jack Red ban, uh, maybe target ban as well. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge, wiggle, wiggle. Also a lot of hmm. kind of annoying poke from Junkrat. And this is, you know, since yeah. you're going to have the Protector, with the Protector on this map, you can pick up heroes that stack on heroes and get stacks off of the Protector. So sometimes you get that with Junkrat. You can get stacks with Tychus if you choose to go that route. Um, but either way, it has the burn from Tychus because the Protector acts like a hero. So you get that percentage damage. To pew, 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 pew. How fast can you pew, pew? <laughs> oh, I, I'm really slow with that. All right. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, go. I love it. It's great. It's great. Frostman uh, Pet picking up the task. I need to write a book about how to embarrass yourself first time for a cool casting. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I think there was a. Is there a. I think, I think I have a clip of somebody else going pew 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 pew. Hmm, if I could find it. Hmm, is it this one? No. Nope. Close. No, it's close. Oh, we didn't yeah. quite make it. 
We're gonna see the They're Sonya picked up Diablo. as well. And now look at all these look at all these tank bands. We have Diablo, we have May, we have Johanna. We have another band coming up, and no tanks have been picked yet. The pool is shrinking, and you should you should know about that because of uh, all of all the pool activities that you do all the time. You know, being in charge, telling people when to swim, when not to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, we're talking about water. different people here, though. Oh, <laughs> out of the water! Yeah, this one is one of my favorites, especially when you need to yell at thirty kids at the same time. Um, last band. Deathwing. Deathwing. Sorry. The dragon. The See dragon. you later. All right, I've, I've, I mean, I've... really strong on this map, obviously, for Volskai, I mean, lots of value. <laughs> lots Indeed. Of value. My, voice, my voice is cracking. <laughs> Help. Where's... Okay, I have missed a couple things up in chat. I got two, two pulled into the game. Imagine that. But uh, let's see. Dire Pants, welcome on in. Uh, Dire Pants is, is cheering on Peach as well. We have Garrosh and Leoric. So here comes some of the beef. Coming out oh. from 30 seconds to Mosh. <clears throat> I guess you could, you know, if you're not going to pick ETC, at least you can 30 seconds to Garage. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, when you say gar Garage, I imagine like actual Garage, like for, for the cars and stuff. And I was like, Garage? <laughs> but this Garage will park his cars, hopefully in the right spot, especially if that's going to be Leoric and Tomb. That's going to be funny. Loctars, yeah. Ogars, for sure. Oh, Oshkosh, Garage. Mm -mm. <laughs> but Taco picking up the Anubarak, and Sil is going to be grabbing the Cassia. Uh, if you want to say the, if you want to say Cassia weird. Uh, because we can, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. Last pick coming out here for thirty seconds to Mosh. I want to see. Be... Here is the follow up oh. after the throw. That was. Waiting for that. Mm -hmm. we, go. we got a lot of a lot of CC, and we got wave clear on both teams. We have some pretty, pretty decent dive coming out from Regen Rebel, and some counter dive from Thirty Seconds to Mosh. So this will be interesting. I don't know. I don't know. If Tassadar stays back, lots of damage there potentially. Potentially. Well, we'll have to see. We will see you guys in game one. We will be right back. Ah! On the left hand side, we have Regen Rebel. We got Vela. It's going to be playing that Stukov. Postman Pat is on the Tassadar. Sil is going to be on that Cassia. Taco on the Nubarak. And last but not least, it's Meow Meow Cats. Meow 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 Meow. meow. It's going to be playing the Sonya. What do we got on the right hand side, <laughs> Peach? Uh, on the right, right hand side, we have 30 seconds to mosh. Oh my god, I cannot see names. Born to Shine with the uh, Brightwing. Uh, I'll help you with names. They're moving. Oh my god. Hit the I'm tab sorry. key. Hit the tab key. You can see all the names. Hit it's, the a, tab it's, key. A, it's a super secret oh my strat. God. It's a super secret strat. <laughs> That's really help. Oh my god. I'm a bird. would be on the Uh Sub Zero and Tychus. Uh, the captain it will be Keltas and Knivers. Knivers. I'm assuming Garage. That is it Knivers or is it Nivers? Knivers? I... Nivers? Oh, we. Oh my god. <clears throat> Uh oh, Heart? we I got have a no message idea. in chat. We have a message in chat saying that we have a banned skin for a KT. Oh my goodness. Naughty, uh -oh. naughty. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, the teams I don't think anyone did will not care. Go, the teams did not go for a middle fight. That's. Yeah, we saw all of Regen Rebel kind of go down into the bottom, maybe hmm. give a little bit of, of, uh, of guff there to Leoric, but. Uh, Nothing really quite came of it. Good, good, safe distance kept. Taco checking out these bushes, seeing if they can catch anybody on rotation. In the meantime, we'll probably see rotations between maybe mid and top getting that soak, but right now, both teams 
trying to figure out what they want to get their rotation set at. Oh, I see already people in the camp on the side of the blue team. They want to get them turrets. They want those pew 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 pews, right? I mean... Uh, <laughs> that's right. The 30 seconds to wash are there already. Got Brightway and KT dealing with that. This map's We're all about the, the all about the toys, right? You want to get all those toys as many as you can. Oh yeah. You want to be it, you want to be better than the neighbor's kid. You want to have like all the new toys, uh, especially when you oh. get into these fights. Meow meow cat. Uh, wow. Ooh, is. Oh my god. Getting moved on down in the bottom lane, but meow meow cats is going to be able to get away and escape out of that. Uh, meanwhile, in the mean <laughs> meanwhile in the mid, both both tanks are just going to high five each other. Do a little back and forth, but without the follow-up, you can't really secure any kills there. But you can get yeah. the soak. The soak is so important. Mm -hmm. XP is pretty close for both of these teams. Yeah, yeah. As we see the first objective counter start counting down, it will be on control point A. If you're can if you're Canadian uh, and you're confused when I say A, I mean the letter A, not E H. A. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Everything starts with A. <laughs> Always. Always and forever. There's no there's no option. Yep. I thought this camp Our was Canadians getting oh this camp the camp on the left the siege camp is being held by Regen Rebel and they're looking on getting into that maybe holding it for later. Siege camp on the right, 30 seconds to the monster getting theirs. They might be they might be a bit late, but maybe actually mm. Oh, they actually get control of that too. Ooh, they're waiting. They're holding it for 30 oh, seconds to mosh. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting pretty, play there. Well, Tagus is still top. Oh. Thank you very much for the 100 bits, Tiger. Thanks for being here. 18% claimed by 30 seconds to mosh on the objective, and they're keeping Regen Rebel from getting their their ticks on it for now. Meanwhile, camp time up in the top, maybe gonna get cleared out by both teams as they rotate through to the top to try to take these camps out. We are doing some stacking up here in the rhythm, so Tychus will be stacking. Be able to get a lot of mm -hmm. stacks on the protector if if the enemy team gets it, but of course you want to try to get the protector when you can. We are also stacking here on Tassadar. Static charge. And we're stacking some, but we're getting some globes on KT. Nine globes in so far. Get it, get it, get it. No convection? No, no, we are going in the middle. No mana attic. convection? <laughs> Don't do you're it. You're having too much fun, Weenus. You're, you're having too much fun. Sorry. This is serious. Too much fun. Okay. Serious. And now for a very serious presentation <laughs> of the first objective. If we get one more percent, I will not point it out on the team of 30 seconds to mosh because that would be inappropriate. You're looking for that engage. You're looking for that engage. Here comes zoning. What's of zoning coming up? Nivers looking for a toss. Will they find it? There goes a turret gets dropped down. Nivers getting low, but it's going to be a new brack that goes down. Then followed by Garage. So it's a one for one, but Bornishine is very, very low. Will oh. drop down. No, there oh. goes Tychus. It's a three for one. Meow Meow Cats trying to get that damage onto Leoric. Does get the damage, but not quite the kill. And that's going to be a triple kill. Triple kill. Going out Sil over to so Regen close. Rebel. Oh my god, Sil was so close. I've been looking at those people. Those turrets. Oh my god. All the toys in the world were here in this objective. Yep, Whoa. that's right. We're, we're going to have to sing a, a sad song when they go down and the toys, the toys shut down. But we are going to get another toy on the map for Regen Rebel as those turrets are used up, and we are going to have the first protector go over to blue side. Look at that. No regard for the treadmill. Just doesn't care. Treadmill, no effect to the protector. Not like you. We're very close to tens, though, Peach. So close. Both teams' tens pop. Boom. For regen rebel. We are going to see leap. Black hole. We do have Cocoon still waiting for Stukov and Cassia. This protector is going down pretty quickly. We are going to see Valkyrie. And there is the flailing swipe. Tens also online for 30 seconds to mosh. We have Blink Heal, we have Phantom, we have uh, Dragon Laser, we have Fire Blast, and the challenge from Woo! the Rosh. <clears throat> He's going to challenge them. Oh my. 
<laughs> oh my. So an interesting choice, taking the protector bottom. Uh, is able to get the whole bottom front wall as a fight breaks out down here in the mid. And we are going to get a pick here, here onto it. Taco. Oh. Black Hole comes out, but a nice pickup here by 30 seconds to Mosh. Here comes oh, no, the Pyroblast. Prosman will go down. Wow. Nice play there. And now we get a double kill going off for 30 seconds to Mosh. As they say, hey, maybe this was a fluke. We're taking this game back and we want the toys. Give me the toys. All the toys as they go in there for them. The support camp has been taken by the side of red team over here. It was pretty nice pretty quickly. Nobody interrupted them because the blue team is just keep doing their stuff. You get the kills, you can do whatever you want, Peach. Hmm? At least until oh, those death permission? timers. Okay. <laughs> yes. As long yeah. as I get your permission, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, when you get the kills, <laughs> go out and rob a bank. Weena's told you you could do it. It's fine. Rob it'll, the bank. it'll hold up in a court of law. Siege camp getting picked up top on both sides. Captain working on that. And then we do have the fortification camp or the turret camp picked up here as well. Slight experience advantage coming out for 30 seconds to Mosh. 13s will okay. pop first. They got that talent tier advantage, but for how long will it be longer than 25 oh. seconds? I'm a bird, fly away, fly away. Oh. Maybe it's supposed to be, I'm a bird. <laughs> I'm a burb says, I'm just gonna wing it. Flew the coop. <laughs> However, 30 seconds to Mosh sees the skank attempt and is able to push down the top Fort wall yeah. because they they see so all the, all the, the enemies bottom. somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So a good a good call there and getting some extra extra siege damage Ooh. in while you can oh, structure damage. Oh, just in the middle of the opponent's Nivers team. is able to avoid nice going cocoon. down. My goodness, there's the black hole. We also black we also see also Valkyrie used, but I think Karash was oh. unstoppable. Nice throw. Ooh, <gasps> Nivers saving everybody out here. Wow. Ladies All right. Gentlemen, it's getting hotter and hotter in here. Woo. Is it just KT or is it these players? My goodness. Uh, uh, all of them. No, all of them are amazing. A Shalanore. Uh, I don't think that it's possible to get 16 before the next fight, but so the teams should be even. They even in kills as well. Yeah, so pretty close. 13 to 14, so there is an advantage. 30 seconds to mosh but not a talent tier and uh, one more fight could even it up or push them further ahead in this race i think the hanuberak should be really careful with that tech is still oh, oh look at this everyone's hiding everyone's hiding behind walls and invents i love it i love it the captain is like i'm gonna go get the globe and complete the quest test art is chilling up there in the, in the corner yeah, there you go. You do have mana at it complete. You love to be addicted to mana. Oh, here here's the throw. No follow up. Oh. We already have 30% stacked on the objective for regen rebel. Niver's trying to trying to get on the point, but is going to get pushed off by regen rebel. Oh, the Yorick is in danger. Not anymore. There's the throw toss onto taco. taco and the taunt as we do see in tomb come down. There's oh. big leap. Oh, into the Valkyrie. Nice work. Down goes the oh. work. There's the cocoon on Tychus. Tychus is still in danger, guys. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. It's a one for none. But the objective has been left alone. It's now getting reclaimed here by Regen Rebel. 19 seconds on Leoric. The tomb was lovely, but disengaged on that black hole. Oh, God. Mm-mm. Dangerous. Oh, here's another throw and tackle. Oh, a huge silence coming on out, doing a lot of damage. And there is another couple of kills stacked up for Regen Rebel. It's 30 seconds to Mosh tries to get in there and tries to get on that objective. But this one will be going over to Regen Rebel as well. XP, though, still about the same. 16s are going to pop first for Regen Rebel, but right behind is 30 seconds to Mosh. Oh, there it is. Woo. We just did a great job. Great job. <laughs> awesome. Just gave birth to that level 16 at this point. Ooh, I almost had to get my kazoo out going? again. It looks oh, like we're going to finish finish off bottom again, maybe? I'm not sure. 
the 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 front wall is down and this would set up the next objective which is going to be in the bottom lane oh Crazy. the protector is getting oh. shredded though so by the time it gets down here it yeah. only has 30 percent left yeah uh-oh here comes oh, the leap in onto Tychus. Huge follow up. Oh. And that is going to be Tychus going down. I'm a burb. It's taking a lot of damage. Maybe can Spooky walk away. Down goes the protector. Nubrak go going in. Trying to get they on the captain. There's oh. a big taunt. Niver is getting a good distraction there. I'm a burb goes down. Here comes a pyroblast on to Taco, but there is the cocoon. When they come out, I'm expecting a silence and maybe a stun. Oh. oh. No. There's no way to get away from that, Peach. There's no way, for sure. Triple kill going out for Regen Rebel, and they got their fort, and now they're looking for more. Pushing on this bottom keep. Oh. Looking for something else? Probably not. Just looking for a keep, maybe? Leo is back, though. Taco is kind of low. Taco gets oh, entombed. Oh, that was... And polymorphed. <laughs> yep. So it's the zoning in tomb. <laughs> they, no, they're sending a message. They're sending a message there. Sometimes you do have to send the message. Oh, that's quite aggro right here. They managed to take this camp though. Grab the boy. Just spawning. Let's let's regen rebel. Grab this fortification camp. Once again, on the quest to grab all the toys, grabbing their own fortification camp, and eyeing with a hungry, hungry look. This this biotic emitter here. Which is this person sitting in this cage? Hmm. Mm mm mm. Where does the biotic emitter come from? I always miss that. Is it on the back of the mech? Yeah, it's like at the, at the back. There's a little like entrance. Oh, throw in taco, taco Ooh, is a big alone. surprise. Oh. Huge, huge beach. A big blow up here. Coming for 30 seconds to mosh. They don't see the turret though. Aren't able to grab it. Meow meow cats is able to grab it though. Captain. In a bad spot. Able to get back though, and big heals coming out from Born to Shine. That was a great pick from 30 seconds to Mosh. That's what they needed to get a little bit of momentum in their favor. Woo. And they're gonna be able to take this biotic emitter. And I wanna see how it pops out. I'm gonna pay extra attention. Oh, it's held in the back here in this little chest. Okay. Got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop. Boop. Have I played this game before? <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. I don't know how any of this yeah. stuff works. Shame on you, shame on you. Shame How do you, you win this game, Peach? Do you have to just mess around in the fountains? Can you play in the fountains? Is that how you win this game? Uh, maybe ask somebody else, but not a healer. A healer <laughs> will give you a completely different answer for that. Top four got destroyed by 30 seconds to watch. The camp is still gone. Get a kill, oh. take a building. Nice work. Born to Shine yep, says, I'm yep. out of here. I'll come back in with my, my phase shift. I'll phase shift my bright wing gas all over your face when you need it. But I need the mana. And here she comes right back. Boop. 20s are almost online for their side of blue team. A risky fight. A risky fight. Leo is trying his best to soak. 20s, very close still for Regen Rebel. I mean, if they he would have fight, maybe that's the time. Oh, never mind. Soak, which is also safe. Can't also, really for that. the next objective, Peach, down here on control point C is control point uh -huh. C stands for crap because it's on these treadmills and that's where crap hits the fan. Uh, there's no, there's no, there's no fort. I almost said fart. There's no fort for 30 seconds to mosh to retreat back to and no well uh -oh. to tap at. Uh oh. But forget the action on down oh, there. It's all up here. Right Leap. wing is not on time. Oh! There's an excellent Valkyrie coming out. Niver's in trouble as this well. Wall. It's a double kill. Fire blast and Stukov. Get the counter kill though onto Stukov. And here is the cocoon on KT. Will the captain be able to back out? Ah, my burb oh. goes down. It turns into a triple. Captain looks like they're going to be able to get out okay. Born to shine. Healing what they can. But regen rebel. Getting the three for one. And this secures the mid fort. And they can leisurely walk down to the objective if they want, or pressure somewhere else. Let's see what they favor. I bet they want this camp, maybe? Yeah. Oh, we were looking at this sense. camp. We're looking at putting beetles on this on this uh, bottom keep. We're the doing building. a little bit of double duty. Double duty, that's Taco's right, alone, I said though. duty. All of his damage is back there. 
Leo is about to come out soon, though. Orange shines sp spitting all over Taco. Get off of my <laughs> keep! Garage is up in two seconds, and then we will see all the members in 30 seconds to mosh up, and 20s are online for both teams. Here we go. In keep tune with goes silence. Down. There comes Valkyrie and Black Hole. Black Hole! Big combo. Tychus will go down. Captain able to Taco back out. Big toss onto Taco, and here comes the Warlord's challenge. Does Taco have an escape? Oh no, KT's dead. gonna go down, and oh. Taco gets to walk out. Oh, almost. My God. Another big play there from Regen Rebel. If they are able to get this, they should be able to get this objective, but it depends how they spread themselves out. Low, Sil and Taco need to need to, to uh, tap at, up there. And <laughs> we have Vela's up alone, the just <laughs> chilling at the top lane. Just like, you know what? You guys good. I'm just gonna. You know what, minions? Slap my hand. Look at look at this huge hand I have. I mean, yeah. Check it out. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. I can count. Okay, and there it is. So far, all the protectors have gone over to Regen Rebel this match so far. They do have a clear path bottom to the core. Let's see what kind of defense 30 seconds to Mosh can put up. All right. Those guys are walking out. Oh. Tony just popped out of this. Maybe like she's looking for a jump. Most likely. Only one in the protector, a new brack, the tank. And it's not crater, huh? Oh, I just closed it. There's a big there leap goes, here there goes, onto there Captain, goes. popping the shield. And here comes oh a nice toss. Oh. Here comes a huge black hole though. No one quite going down. Garage popping the unstoppable, but will fall. The protector's about done, Protector but that was a big displacement onto oh. Sub Zero. Sub Zero running is able to get away. I think the fire, the fire is spinning. Oh. As long as no one else goes down on 30 seconds to Mosh, I think they might be able to push them back. But here comes the cocoon onto KT. The sh the core still has it shielding. Oh my goodness! Still, it's so low. Oh my god! Big heal comes up from Sukov. Oh, a huge Pull silence! No, oh, oh. Zero's in trouble goes down. There's a big polymorph taco taking a lot of damage, but the core is just melting. And that is going to be it. GG's game number one going over to Regen Rebel. Well played. Well played indeed. Mmm. What a game! That was yummy. What a show, guys. Wow. <laughs> that was yummy. <laughs> that We're was yummy. We were. Uh, is, that, is that a Brightwing impression, or is that are you eating something yummy? Yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right wing is <laughs> creepy. Uh, look at the healing put out by Born to Shine, though. 80, almost 84k. I'm uh, always looking at the healing as a healer player. Yeah. That will be the first where I would definitely take a look. Oh, I gotta oh. update the scores. Hold on, let me do that real quick. Boop. All right, tell me what what do you see? What do you see between these these healers, or what is there any any kind of healing perspective that you want to share from from the match that we just saw, the game that we just saw? To be honest with you, speaking of healing, I think Stukov also did a uh, quite impressive job of... Uh, I, I'm not sure, but I think they saved the big heal a couple of times on purpose. Um, which sometimes might work, sometimes might not work, in my own experience. Brightwing, um, actually, I think I go this pretty much the same build, uh, usually. Maybe 13 would be a bit different, and... 20, they went for Invisible Friends, which is classic. Uh, but that's what I see from healing. I'm always looking at XP also. The experience contribution. They're pretty close, huh? Sonya and Leo. Ah, uh, yes, for offlaners. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yep. So, I mean, maybe, you know, not putting out as much healing on Stukov, but definitely, you know, getting three kills and putting out uh, a decent amount of damage as well. Stukov I like is Stukov scary. Uh, Stukov is scary, uh, especially into Leo, with those slaps. It's just one of the type of disengages that they got. And, of course, Tassadar with those black holes. Oh, my. Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Yeah. Sonya was a bit aggressive. I was, uh, I was scared 
uh, a little bit when she would jump on the back line. I mean, I know that that's what they supposed to do, but sometimes as a healer, you might have a little heart attack there to like, oh, hold up, I need to heal you. <laughs> and you see them like jumping on the half HP and the back line is just scary. Oh, it is KT scary. Follow -ups. KT follow ups and the fire spread. It was oh. it was kind of crazy because you'd get you know, Sonya would go and leap on you, or Anubarak would go and stun you. And then mm -hmm. you'd have Syl and Cassia just pulling them back with Valkyrie. And so you're like, am I going this way or am I going that way? And then, boop, uh, Prosman Pat just pops out the black hole. And then, you know, you're getting pushed the other direction. So it's like getting pushed and pulled and pushed and pulled and just like living in this CC train forever. Uh, I liked I liked the combo that 30 Seconds to Mosh had with Theron Tomb. I feel like they just needed a little bit more than just... Kael'thas AoE damage in inside of the uh, Entomb to really get the same amount of damage output that Regen Rebel was pushing with their with their CC train yeah, combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you can't push the buttons, you can't play the game! That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. Oh, looks like I have a, an alert in chat that makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Nightbot has not been uh -huh. updated for a very long time. Sorry about that, Melville. All right. Well, we will go back to us, I suppose, while we wait. <gasps> dun, dun, so dun! You, so you promoting not paradox? Am I? I see. Yeah, well, well you know, this like... was... What were we doing <laughs> for this? I think this was a charity what were you event. Doing? It was a charity event, okay? I think it was for kids or something. It must have been for kids or maybe for some, some other organization. Um... But anyways, there we are. I see some new names coming up in the, in the lobby, got... and I'm not really sure. Oh, are you in? I'm not. I'm still on the stat screen. I got to I gotta get into this lobby. Where's where that lobby I at? Mean, they sent a link to you, weeders. Mm, I know. I'm so bad. Okay. I'm in the lobby. Whew. I made it. Thank goodness. I wasn't the last oh, one. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. I am. Yeah. Maybe I am. Uh, got some more people in chat. Uh, Dudettes, welcome on in. Weenus thinking of his toilet. Yes. Yes. Most of the time I am. Uh, let's see. You got Feast Ren in here. Anybody else pop in? Uh, I see Geo was in here as well at the beginning before the match. Toxic Four was here as well. Uh, just yell at me. Also. Oh, yeah, Demon Red. <laughs> yes. Yell at me. Red. Yell at Demon. me if I miss you. Oh, you Mr. Born to Shine is here. Guys. Ewok Thor is here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Ween is for kids, says Melville. Oh, we got Melville. We got Tuna Prep in here as well. Hello. Wings for kids. That sounds like a threat. Kind of sounds like a threat than anything else. But does uh, it? Does it? Does it really? Mm. I think it kind of does. I'm gonna ask which team pick the map because they haven't quite set that other stuff up yet. And then we will see where we are going. For I guess we know where we're going, but it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. Another really interesting map, though. <laughs> There's so many to pick from. All right. I know, but this one, I believe, is not that common, isn't it? I like it personally. All right, we're gonna show it. Let's go to the map screen, and I'll update it there. Oh my god, mm, bummer. Bummer. All right, so we are. Oh. Hmm, did I put this in the wrong? No. Okay, we are going to Alterac Pass, and it was picked here by 30 seconds to Mosh. So. They picked map over first hero pick. Okay. Queen is for kids sounds like a criminal charge. <laughs> hey, everybody's got, well, that's not true. Not everybody has elbows, but a lot of people have elbows and, uh, you know, make sure you keep them moist. All right. So we are heading to Alterac Pass for map number two. What do you like to play here, Peach? What looks good? What do you think we should get in the draft? Oh, I actually don't know. I mean, uh, definitely some zoning tools again. I've seen lots of Lei Mengs on this map, but I'm not really sure again. It's been a while that I've seen those guys in action, and I see some name changes going on on the side of one of the teams. So, and I'm really excited because I know these people personally. That's, that's, sometimes oh it's really my. impressive. Sometimes it's really impressive how small our community is. Yeah, you, sometimes sometimes when you're playing Storm League, you see uh, you see some of your friends or people that you know on the other other team. Sometimes they're on your team, 
Um, sometimes you see dudettes all the time kicking your butt on on uh, Lucio. That's what happens <gasps> to me. Dudettes always really? kills me with Lucio. Yep. It's pretty good. Oh. Uh, Dudette saw the cast that you did the other night. It was great. It was great. <laughs> All right. So we are in lobby. I think we're almost ready to go. I think we're just taking a quick little bio break, and then we will get into game number two. Uh, 30 seconds to Mosh needs to get a, a win here to keep the series going. Mm -hmm. Regen Rebel looking to get a 2-0 domination to add three points to their first place position already. But I know 30 seconds to Mosh, they're, they're going to want to get any points they can to try to stay up there in the top three, currently in third place. All right. Oh, yeah, sure. We will be right back. And hopefully the teams will be ready by then. And if not, we'll just hang out and have fun. See you in a second. You hear the master's voice. Power before me, mortals. The whole of this realm will break. Let's play! I will bring you to your knees. None resist the chill of Death. One dies, one grows strong. A thousand and one gods, and none could save you. Oh, are we back? Pardon me. Pardon me. Ooh, I was parched. I was parched. No, <laughs> that was for you. I was thinking of making a channel points reward. Oh, it looks like we're going into draft. I was thinking about making a channel points reward of just drooling. So if someone redeems it, I have to just drool on myself. I think we should test it out real quick. So it would look something like this. Thank me for redeeming your <laughs> So refreshing. Oh, oh, that's nice. Mm. Uh, mm. Okay. Okay. So it looks something like that. Um, we'll have to test that out, and we'll uh, run it by the the uh, focus group and see what they think about me drooling on myself. Oh. But enough of that. Uh, oh, we got a distracting disco redeemed by Melville. Thank you for your 1,069 mother cluckers. I think we can do that during draft. We'll just have to. We'll just have to talk loud over it. Still covering okay. the draft. All right. Get ready to dance. <laughs> I gotta figure out, okay, I gotta push buttons. Which buttons do I push? Hopefully it's the right ones. Hopefully this is lights. Okay, we got lights. Okay, lights going. Light. Okay. And now we got some music. I thought see you in a delay, but oh. Okay. All right. All right, the only rule is no rules at all. But you can dance if you want to. Oh yeah, having a good time. All right, so there we have the Stukov band out by Regen Rebel. Do you think they're like, if we can't, we're not going to get away with it another game, or we don't want the other team to have it. Or maybe it's not good on yeah. this map. Is that what you're thinking? Because, really, getting some good value out of a game number one. Yeah, for sure it was a huge value. And one of the strongest follow-ups that you can get from any healers, pretty much, or any CC chain. So I'm not surprised at all. If they're not interested in playing Snook of them, they just got them. Sorry, I can't help myself. Once Good again, rest. we're going to see that Junkrat ban, and here is Diablo banned out again for game number two. Sorry, Diablo. No Diablo today. Mm. No, no dimples and bits. Not not for game number two. Maybe game three if we get there. Fingers crossed. I always love to cast more games. Toxic Horse says 10 of 10's rule. <laughs> Hector says there's funny ones for shock value. I think it loses its impact if something we can acquire on command. I agree. Plus, I don't really want to be drooling on myself all the time. Here's a new band, though. Chromie. Chromie. Another zoning tool from the far away. Could be a uh, target battle. Well. Jojo. Johanna picked up Here's Jojo me. lovers. Was that, what, is that what you named it last time? Is that what you said? Jojo, Jojo. lovers? Yeah, I said jo Joe lovers or Jojo lovers. Yeah. Jojo lovers. Uh, it sounds it sounds like, uh, I think there's those 
cookies that you can get at Trader Joe's called JoJo's that are like... Oh, there's Jaina. That was the first ban last time coming up from Regen Rebel. This time the captain gets it. And Anduin on Born to Shine, doubling it up on the blondes. You got the blonde bombshells coming out here from 30 Seconds to Mosh right blondes at the beginning. are awesome. Oh no, Melville clipped me, me drooling. <laughs> nice. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Melville. I appreciate that. I'll, I will, uh, I will suffer my shame and watch that later. Probably for sure. gonna be, probably gonna be me dying on the background as well. <laughs> uh, what they gonna pick? What they gonna pick? Sprite Wing taking that away from thirty seconds to mosh. And uh, although, you know, I guess you don't need Anduin and Brightwing, so they kind of already have that yeah, locked down. that would down. be kind of weird, silly. But if you banned out, if you banned out Stukov. The enemy team has taken Anduin. Why not grab Brightwing? It's a large-ish map. Uh, before the third ban, especially. Yeah. And it's, uh, I mean, Stukov is already banned. Anduin is taken. Meow, Energy meow, cats, oh, dog. No. Moo, More. chicken, cow, has grabbed the Ragnaros. <laughs> uh, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> Sorry, when I hear meow, meow, cats, it just makes me want to say all different kinds of animals. I just can't, I just can't help it. Meow, moo. Wolf. Goat. Okay. Chicken. We are going to see the Tastar band out. That black hole getting the respect ban <clears throat> from last game. And there is the Katsya ban from Region Rebel. Region Rebel deciding to ban out some of the heroes that they played the last match. No more Tastar. No more of those annoying walls. And I, I feel them. The Valkyries I were pretty them. clutch last game as well. All right, oh. so we do have Anaressa grabbing the Rainer. Uh, I believe we have swapped in Anaressa and Farfik Nugan for this game. That's right. So mixing it up, when you must be nice to have a roster with more than five players, you could switch people in and out. So it's <laughs> uh, it's fun to see uh, see more players pulled in uh, throughout these games. Let's fly. Felsat comes in on the side of blue team, or is it blue team? It is blue team. It's blue team. Blue team. For the next Prospan Pat grabbing the false daddy and still grabbing the Orphea. Hmm, spicy. Spicy, spicy. Lots of zoning tools. I see lots of zoning tools. <laughs> she is Johanna Gods, his dudettes. Welcome to the chat, Dragonk4000. Welcome on in. They'll switch. I bet you 20 bucks. Morda! Could, oh, you think you think Sil is going to switch? Wait, who's. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. All right, uh, we'll who, see. Who, where? Last pick, though. Farfic Newton grabbing that May. That I missed last time, didn't mention. I'm a burb! Gonna be grabbing the Sonya. See if they can turn that leap combo around onto Regen I think, Rebel. I think it's. No, I'm not really sure if that's gonna be a snowball or ice wall, but both can be pretty good for Sonya's jump on top of that. And Jaina. And a live of combo. And, and all the combos. combos. All the combos. And all the combos. Hmm. All right. Well, we will have to see. There is no switch, but we will see you in game number two after this. All right, game number two on the right-hand side. We have 30 seconds to mosh. And Ressa is going to be on Jimmy. Give him the Jimmy. Farfik Nugent is going to be on that May. Born to shine on the Manduin. Is it a burb? Is it a plabe? No, it's Sonya. <laughs> being played by I'm a burb. And the captain will be rocking it out on Janers. What are we looking like on the left-hand side? Pete Chirino. Uh, we have Imagine Revel, uh, Taco playing on Joe, uh, Syl will take this Orphea, Vili will take that Brightwing, uh, Meow Meow Cats will be in Ragnaros, uh, <laughs> Prost Pet, 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 oh my god, I'm so sorry, Prost Pet, Pet, on Faustad, and that's it, because there are only five players in when the team, I don't when know you why. said Meow I Meow just, Cats, I, I went going. Dog Bark Meow, oh my goodness, what an engage, 
A lot of damage. Gonna see. Oh, Joe. Iron Would skin already popped. Maybe? Iron skin is down, but nice. able to walk away. Nice volley. Oh my god, nice. You volley. hate to see they Johanna leave. All the buttons. All the buttons on right wing. Right there. But they get wow. out with the with the with their lives, so. Oh, they're looking at this. I was gonna say yet. Yeah. Sonia. You hate to see Johanna go, but you love to see her leave. I'm a burb is a little bit stranded out here. Ooh, a nice oh, spear yeah. on the Vel. Oh, can they get out? Oh, they cannot. Nice pick. First kill going over to Regen Rebel as they get first blood. I'm going to call that a gank complete. I will look for you. I will find you. Camps are up, though. And Jeez. I will kill you. I see. On the red side. On the red. On the red side. On the side of the red team. 30 seconds to mosh. Yeah, they're getting a head start over here. Get in this camp, and these camps respawn like what is it? A minute and a half? Is that what it is? It seems like it's less than that. Maybe it's, maybe it's a little bit longer. Maybe it's two minutes. But these camps are always up. So get them as much as you can. There's the only camp on the on the map besides the boss. So pick them up, collect them all. Yeah. They're waiting patiently, waiting for what though? I think they're waiting for this camp to get further down the lane, and then they grab theirs over here on 30 seconds to mosh, and then they try to burn Regen Rebels camp first, so that their camp can push. We'll see. <laughs> I, just, I just confused myself. Interesting. No, I mean, I mean, yeah, maybe. I like uh, the fact that Regen Rebel playing Brightwing Soaker on the bottom lane. That's interesting. Not every time you'll see that. Um, yeah, you get that phase shift ability, so you soak while you can, and then if you're needed somewhere, you go and head up there. But we are going to see yep. four respond here from Regen Rebel in the mid to clear out this camp. And both camps go down without getting any real siege damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Aressa hiding in the bushes. Meow meow cats, dog. Donkeys, horses, cats. It's doing a good exchange there. I just can't help it. I have to say more animals. I cannot <laughs> help it. Even though it's all oh, just one animal. Oh. oh! Oh! Taco! Maybe going deep! Oh! 7 HP! Taco! Oh! The double blind getting the kill, but are they in trouble? There's a counter kill on Onto Brightwing! Taco will survive, but Brightwing will need to sacrifice herself. Oh, wow, wow. I'm not really sure. Is oh, that my really worth goodness. it? But that was fun. I mean, Ooh. I'll give that. Oh, no. Taco! Oh! Taco. There's the iron skin. Giving him enough to get on out. Oh my goodness. Whew, that was exciting. And the rest of the goes ahead and starts the camp. So is um, Frostman Pat. I'm doing much better. Boom, boom, boom. Slapping those gnolls left and right. Boom, boom, boom. Get him. Same thing happening over here. Regen Rebel. Smacking those gnolls around. They're just trying to live their life. Camp's getting picked up almost at the same time. And what is it? Yeah, it's a minute and a half. Yeah, so a minute and a half. Pick up those camps every minute and a half. We have sevens online for both teams. Bosses, what? Five minutes? Yeah, we'll be up in one minute from now. The objective is just sitting there waiting for one team to uh, to move on it. Maybe if they get right, an, an advantage. On the lane, maybe Genku Sonia, maybe? Oh, 300, 200. Not enough. Ooh. Not enough, unfortunately. Very nice attempt, though. I'm a burb is going to escape with a few hundred HP. And that's the danger of globals, which we have plenty of here on Regen Rebel. They just swoop in yeah. whenever they want. Almost no siege damage again out of those camps so far. Well, now, now there is a little bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, yellow pocket dot. No zucchini. All right, here we go. Both teams now looking, looking at these objectives, thinking maybe, maybe now is the time. Is now the time? They're in defensive positions. Falstead though is going to go bottom and get that side. soak. Both teams kind of spreading out again into the other lanes. Falstead does not see Sonya coming for his soul. Oh, oh will, never mind. Oh, maybe another gank attempt up top. Will we see? <laughs> Will we see an objective try to be picked up before uh, tens? I I think maybe not. I think Regen Rebel might at mm -hmm. this way at this point might as well just wait. These teams like to so. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm 100% wrong. Here they're coming in. 
Ay, ay, ay. Well, she Paul? just stopped. She probably will just stop. So let's stop. Paulstad should have fly up. It's going to go back. All the way back to base. Able to clear out these uh, objective guardians. They're but... looking for another camp? Don't tell me that they're looking for another camp. It's camp are. time. It's camp, camp time. time. Woo. No, I mean, I love it, though. Like, soaking games are really fun. In my opinion. Right when you just give it a hand at the camp. So I was in the, on the side of... 30 seconds march. Absolutely. Camp, camp really quickly. Growing Nightmare picked up for Orphea, so seeing if they can get that that super stack on three enemy heroes. Hasn't hit yet, but doesn't mean it won't happen. Oh, level 10 is online on both sides. Oh, pr really equal, huh? Yeah, very, very yeah. close. Yeah, Reach on Rebel. Grab on the Falling yeah. Sword, the Crushing Jaws, the Emerald Wind, and the Lava Wave, as we just saw. Gust. Has a lot of potential for disengages. They get in trouble. Here comes Ice Wall catching comes two. Trouble. And there's a gust. Here comes the blizzard oh. underneath. And there's oh. the leap. Oh. Here comes the crushing jaws. Vela's very, very low. I'm a burb is going to get that kill. Postman Pack goes down. It's a double kill. Can Taco get out with 500 HP? They can. And it is a double kill. Going over to 30 seconds to Mosh. And I be just on top because why not, right? They may have to readjust their name to eight seconds to Ice Wall. Yep. <laughs> but there is Molten Core <laughs> preventing 30 seconds to Mosh from channeling this objective. Oh, that's so annoying. Well played, Meow Meow Cats, it Dog is Wolf. so annoying. Mm. Wow. And they're able to I keep said, 30 seconds to Mosh off of the point, even though they lost two members. Wow. Wow. Go angry. Wow. Oh, d d th these two guys didn't see each other in the bush. That's funny. Bush wars. All right, once Pretty again. Like bush are grabbing another camp because yeah, why not? They see, they see Rage and Rebel pushing in. Mm hmm. They grab the camp and quickly join the Still team. Still gets the channel. Twenty seconds needed to channel this here for Regen Rebel. But here's 30 seconds to Mosh. They're moving in. Falstad is mid. Postman Pat looking to come back in. Here comes a big ice wall. Once again, catching two. Here oh. comes the blizzard underneath. Oh my goodness. Oh. Carpet Nugan. Here comes the leap. And it's going to be a kill there. On to Orphea. Silk goes down. It's four seconds left on the channel. Here's Taco trying to do everything they can to keep it going. Will go down. It's a double kill. Two seconds left. And look at that. 30 seconds to Mosh. They get two more kills. They're able to delay the objective, stop the timer, and they have this camp pushing during that whole uh, interaction up there. So, uh, good play. I'd like to point out that we have Emerald Wind. What's Emerald right? Wind. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So no blink heal if you can lock down, or not lock down. I guess you, <laughs> if you get, if you start to lock down the Bright Wing, then they'll use the Emerald Wind. But there's a lot of displacement with that and Gust. Oh, huh. Yeah. Here comes both teams. And it looks like it's going to... Are we backing out? Are we backing up for 30 seconds to Mosh? Here comes Falling oh, Sword. Oh, seems like. Look at that. 2.1 seconds to 1.3 seconds. These objectives are so oh, close. 13s are in line for Regen Rebel. But soon to be for 30 seconds to Mosh. Give me that 13. There's Stop Leap used to get over the wall. Oh. Just like Van Shu, it's off the wall and over the wall. And there it is. 13s, both sides. Here comes an ice, ice wall catching probably, one. That's dangerous. Uh oh. Big chomper coming on out. There is the gust. A lot of damage. Oh, I'm a bird. That was in danger. Very, very low. Perfect Nukin. Very, very low. Oh my goodness. It's going to be Johanna going down and Arrested down to like 100 HP. Oh, and they get Frostman Pat as well. It's a two kill. I can't believe Farfic Nukin survived. And I'm a burb. Oh, oh but no. <laughs> Jaina goes down as well as May. And that. That turned out in favor of Reach and Rebel quite well. I thought that that was going to be 30 seconds to Mosh as they get the first two kills, but it's turned around by Reach and Rebel. Oh my gosh, I'm parched. <laughs> I, I definitely feel the same way. This, this is breathtaking. These like seconds to milliseconds. My goodness. That was a very close objective. We're going to call it for a top lane just to push for a top, which it makes sense because one of the boss's lanes obviously on top so and they were already there kinda so, that's right keeper's gone 
going down, down, down. I think we're going to see a rotation maybe to mid. This taco is just getting this, the outskirts here. As top objective is going to get burned down. And here comes the push from regen rebel mid. With the lava Definitely wave as well. Oh, wow. Lava wave is a pretty good zoning tool if you don't want anybody to <laughs> get in your way while you're trying to take structures. But here comes 30 seconds Samash to defend the mid fort. Quite a bit of damage to this bottom fort down here on 30 seconds Tamash. Camps are online again, teams. All them camps. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Yay! We called it. No bosses yet. But I think Region Rebels looking and sniffing around for this bottom fort if they can get it. Taco waiting in the bushes. Both of these siege camps getting picked up. For both teams. And now we're going to see double boss play. Checking I love it. Boss, checking the boss. Okay. Seems like both teams are doing different bosses at the same time. Huh? huh. The only difference Who's is that we have five it? players. At the bottom. Yep. Only Sonya at the bottom. Decided That's... 30 seconds to mush. That's a clean both boss. Both bosses picked up. Look at that. As both now, camps are really fighting each other in the middle. Yeah, that, 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 that's really interesting what both teams are going to do. Will Map they stay? synergy. Will they go? It looks like we're going to see bottom just left to its own devices as 30 seconds to mosh is going to push in the top hand lane with their boss. Regen Rebels boss is going to march right up to this keep. Possibly we're gonna just flying? Maybe for a gank? No? Ooh, oh. Maybe. And we're just going to see 30 seconds to mosh back off from that push and they're going to go defend down here in the bottom. 16s for both teams though. We're very close. 5 to 7 as far as kills too, so it's uh check that out. Very close. Right wing still didn't choose. Oh. As I said, now they chose the level 16. I was a bit concerned. I was like, right wing. <laughs> you got to choose your talents. That's how you win games. Well, not always. Certainly. But it, it, cer it certainly, certainly helps. Certainly helps. Oh, butt spot. Behave in chat. These are nice people. All right. This time, Regen Rebel going to start their camp way before 30 seconds. Dimash can. Here comes the light bomb. There's the disengage. Oh. Snapper going off, but not finding any prey in the bait. A little bit of anti-synergy, I guess. Synergy, yeah. yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Just a it little bit. Either yeah. way, you wanted to create some zoning, and you got it. But those, uh, those will be down. But you know, you burned ice wall and light bomb, so you know a pretty even exchange there from both teams. Which unfortunately got most of it. I think got into just Joe's D, and that's it. So nobody got any fix there. Indeed. Try to interrupt. Regen Rebel stepping up to try to get this. Prostman Pat is interrupted oh, there by the water elemental. elemental. But for how long? We'll get the channel now. Not that long. The hard part against playing against Ragnaros with the lava wave is you gotta kill heroes. There's no way you can out soak all of those lava waves. But a this nice ice four, wall. Two of them caught in the ice wall. Light bomb with the Beautiful leap. Up. Nice but combo. They never win. Still no one going down oh. yet. Born to Shine getting the yeet of faith. I, I was certain someone was going to go down there. And uh, a lot of a lot of great engages and reactions from the healers. Everybody oh. saved. That Emerald win definitely helped. With uh, Sonya's engage with Light Bomb on her was perfect. But that Emerald win... Yeah, Emerald Wind getting oh. some value. I was like, what is Sonya doing? Yeah. They're, just, they're just sitting there dancing. Nope, they're getting blown by again. that Emerald win. I'm a burb, getting engaged oh, on. Here comes guys. the chomper. Does get pulled in. I'm a burb is trying to get out. So low, 270. We are gonna lose May. I'm a burb does get out. Oh my goodness, my mouse lost control. Woo! <laughs> 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 and, <laughs> and there is a one kill for none, <laughs> favoring Regen Rebel as they are able to continue channeling this objective and will probably be able to maintain it and hold on to it. This is only 10 seconds left to go. The siege camp could be picked up, but Anaresta is going to go up to the top hand lane, get some of that, some of that XP up there, try to race to 20, close to 20s on the side of Regen Rebel. They're only half a level away. 
Is it the second objective for the whole game? I think it is. I don't remember because I have the memory of a goldfish that has no memory. Goldfishes have memory, but only for three seconds. How long do they have memory for? Three sec. <laughs> Wait, how long do they have memories? <laughs> Here come the objectives. You need, you know, unless you get a full team wipe, here comes Ice Wall. You kind of need two of these keeps down in order to end on the on the core. Mid fort is still up, but we're going to see a lot of resources dedicated down to pushing and defending the bottom keep. This is five versus four, but how did it keep? So. And right. 20s. No 20s, though, for 30 seconds to mosh. They got to be careful. Here comes the leap. To the back line. <gasps> Falling sword. And oh. that is going to be a big kill there. On to Sonya. Bottom keep is getting melted. Top is cleared. Here comes Rainer, though. Ooh, very low on Taco. Molten core popping out to continue the assault. Meanwhile, Rainer completed cleaning all the other objectives. But that's, that's not it. That's not the game. No, no, no. 30 seconds to Mosh trying Taco to hold out here for. Walking around in, the, in their base, like. Doing, doing JoJo things? Just doing JoJo things. Yeah, pretty much. You yeah, know. Obviously. I know. Do I? Maybe. Oh, here Are comes they the camp steal. Gonna do that? I think they can with Sonya down. And this is still a 5v4. And it's going to be. I think it's wise, yeah, for 30 seconds to mosh just to let it happen. Soak for oh. 20 because they are almost there, Peach. Almost there. Bosses are up. And I think we might see a regen rebel top boss call, if not objective. Which I isn't up take yet. Their camp and then, <laughs> oh, here we go. No, never mind. They're gonna go for boss, which makes sense. Also, is gonna quickly probably take the camp. No, 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 no. no. Okay. I think we're Plus gonna see a boss the, response from 30 second to mosh. Is, full of, out of me. They're like, hey, no, it's gonna be different you get a again. boss, we get a boss. You get a boss, yeah. we get a boss. Everybody gets a boss. It's like the Oprah of bosses. You get a boss, and you get a boss, and you get a boss. Even though 30 seconds to mosh started that boss a lot later, they were able to get it pretty quick, I feel. But this is gonna give a significant push to regen rebel in the top hand lane. Looking for this they got juicy. It back. They got it back. Juicy second uh, second keep here. That's the, this is the engage, this is the engage. That might be the last engage of the game. Might be. This could be, this could be, we'll see. We'll see what kind of defense comes out. Ice Here comes wall. the ice wall. Misses. It's the zoning ice wall. Out Hyperion comes the Hyperion. Comes out as well. oh. Boss is down to about 50%. They can give this keep if they need to. They just have to be careful not to lose anyone. Mm. Keep is gonna has... go down. And nice there it goes. <gasps> Here comes the falling sword. Rag falls. Nice pull. It was Good close pick. Close. Good pick there for 30 seconds to mosh. They do lose their keep. Uh, the bottom boss is getting a little bit of damage down here. It did take out the bottom fort, I believe, was still up. This all happened so quick, but I believe Mammal Cats tried to go like, inside the, the keep. How but do you like having uh, uh, Emerald Wind every five seconds? That seems insane. It is insane indeed and really helpful for the team. All right. Now they are numbered. They're just gonna go ahead and grab the camp quickly, which is, I mean, okay. There's no way that they can disengage. I mean, the anyway. lanes, the lanes are all pushed rather far out here for for Regen Rebel. They can grab their camp. That's the safest thing to do. They still have 15 they? seconds until Rag just, comes back. I. Oh, well, this could be. There? They have vision on Sonya, so they know it's a 4v4, and they want to try it. Here comes the Gust with the wind tunnel. A oh, huge ice, ice wall. wall. Here comes the blizzard. Can it catch? Can it catch? Here comes Emerald Light wind. Bomb, but Emerald Wind oh. <laughs> makes its debut. And it's still it's getting channeled here. Oh. Crossman <laughs> Pat. Oh, it gets pulled back in, and there's the unit face on I'm a burp. Crossman Pat's down to 300 HP, but here comes Hyperion. It's still getting channeled here. That's gonna. Oh, Farfic Nugan goes down though. I'm a burp and the captain are in trouble. Can they outrun we'll Meow Meow Cat's now. dog move? Oh! oh! And oh my goodness! Here comes the lava wave mid, so they got a boogie out of the lane, but they escape. Oh my goodness! And Arisa down to 114 HP! Ah! What is happening? Oh no! Don't get hit by the lava wave! Oh my goodness. 
What a fight there. A 4v4. Going over to regen Rebel there. Getting that one kill onto May. But that ice wall. That ice wall was amazing. Massive. Massive. Point one look at this time. Seconds. Point, Point one, one seconds, second. Peach. I see that. It's like 30 times longer than my memory, which is three seconds like a goldfish, if I could remember. How many? 69 seconds. Mm. And this objective is going to go over to Regen Rebel, as 30 seconds to Mosh does not have enough time to get in there and stop Stay. it. They will have May. You might look for a camp. Yeah. Grabbing their... Oh, no, oh, they're back. Oh, oh they think, they think it's too dangerous. They think... Forget about it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Emerald Wind getting some huge value. The last fight. Never mind. This is the last fight. Uh-oh. May is two out. I'll Here comes the under. leap. But the Sonya, though. The Sonya. Crossman Pat is going to let out the Gust. He will be fine. He will be fine. The Gust is out. The Gust is out. Uh-oh. Camp is up. Farfetch Nuka is nice popping on it. Thing. Does get it. <gasps> They have time to fight a little bit longer before the camps get here, and there's a, a pick that they Back. need on the Meow Meow Cats. But there's gonna be so much pressure on onto this core soon with no keeps. They gotta clear these camps as fast as possible, rather this objective, if they can. It's gonna be a tough defense either way. Farfetch really Nugan low. Oh, never mind. getting McYeeted, but still very low. Maybe the boss can help put out some DPS here. The boss is already halfway down. Regen Rebel looking to end. Again. And Emerald there win. it is. And they pull it off and they get it on that push. GG's well played. Regen Rebel getting the domination. Absolutely. Oh my. Oh my. Mama. Oh <laughs> mama. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, it's just too much pressure uh, with all of all those lanes collapsing at once. And also, you know, Meow Meow Cats with Lava Wave just keeping all the waves pushed makes it real tough to push all those lanes back. And then Rags is like, oh, let's just click my R here and just uh, wipe this whole lane out. Uh, but and you can see that. Like, look at the experience from, from Meow Meow like Cats. 34 out. and a half K. The, the siege damage? Hello? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> what? Did we go How did for that happen? Did we go for double lava wave? Uh, yeah, so we got two 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 waves there. So I believe you get yeah. I believe you get the siege damage from, from the uh from the minions. I think minions count as siege damage. Or I could be wrong. Let me know let me know in chat or just yell into the into the into the darkness and I'll hear you if minions count as siege damage. Things I should know for 200 peach. Yep. Oh. No, th that game just oh, I'm speechless. Guys, you left me speechless. That was awesome to just witness all of that. Uh, oh my god. I'm just looking at numbers here. Uh big numbers, really big numbers. And the the fact that they actually almost waited for level 10 to start the first objective. Like, those guys were on point. On camps on point. On soak. And, wow. Unbelievable. In indeed. And uh, and the kills for the team fights were actually quite close. Eight to nine. It, it felt like mm -hmm. Regen Rebel was winning more of the team fights just because they had so much more of the map controlled towards the end. But really, those fights were really close. There's some great turnarounds as well. <laughs> Starnight, thank you for the 1,000 bits. <laughs> Take my Star money, Weenus. Welcome on in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a match. What a match indeed. I should update the score. That's something I can do. You definitely should. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. All right, there it is. Okay. All right. Well, that will be the game played portion portion of the partition partition of of this evening. That word. Yeah, I can say words sometimes, not not very much. Uh, but uh, I think we'll probably pull in Regen Rebel for an interview if they would like to. So, uh, let's just go hop into a, a channel in the NGS Discord. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose your video, so I'm gonna replace you with <gasps> chickens. I apologize. Chickens. There will be chickens 
starting soon. Yes, here they are. They will be rising. The chickens will rise. You're surrounded. You're surrounded by chickens. Watch out. Bark, 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 bark. Chicken meow, 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 cats. Bark, 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 bark. Dog, cat, meow. Okay. All right. So. Cat, dog. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll lose you there. And then let's go. Let's let's see. Let's see if there's somebody waiting for us for an interview. Uh, let's, just, let's just jump into casting lobby three. Let's just jump in over there. Okay. So I'm going to lose yeah, you for like a second. That. And I'll see you over there. Wow, that was fast. You're amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. So we will, uh, let me message the caption and see if. Two, because the caption is already here. Oh, my goodness. I have my I have my sounds muted for Discord. We do. We have the captain with us of Regen Rebel, Taco. Taco, hello and congratulations. Thanks. I got to wash my jersey. It got real sweaty in there. You know, <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh my. Uh, well, yeah. you know, Wednesday is laundry day, I hear. So, you know, we should, should, every should day be... is laundry day in my house. Whenever you play some sweaty hots, it's always time for yeah. laundry. All right. So you mm -hmm. are you're currently sitting as a, in first place team in Div E East. And this just further pushes you into first place. Uh, tell me, how is yeah. your season? How's your season going? Um, a lot better than we thought it would. I'm so, so proud of the team, the most beautiful team in NGS and, uh, and Beastrand, uh, for, uh, this season. We, season 11 and 12, season 11 was our first season. Pretty, pretty middling, really rough. Hey, welcome to competitive. Season 12 was kind of the same way. And then season 13, we just hit our stride and it was absolutely fantastic. And I'm so glad that we got you, Weenus, uh, with us to close out our regular season. Is this the last match of the regular season? For us, it is. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Math yeah. mathematically, can someone take first place from you, or are you locked in? Negative. For, you're As locked in last, for first. Us getting the win last night secured first place. That's right. Okay. Well, congratulations on on having first place in seeding going into playoffs. That's very exciting. Uh yeah, it's uh it's a lot of pressure off of us um because just every game like it's every game is like how's it gonna go any given sunday whatever and we just i'm really proud of the team holding it together and doing uh come making it to practice working on our stuff uh just been a fantastic season i couldn't be more blessed to have uh to have the team that i have well don't let take too much of the pressure off because otherwise you're gonna get eliminated by an eight the eighth seed in the playoffs so you gotta you I gotta know. stay on top I, right i have been well don't so we underestimate really any of these teams they're all very good exactly it's yeah it's been it's been rough going every week and uh i'm known for throwing in the first round of the playoffs so <laughs> well it's it's always exciting to, to to leave the regular season and go into playoffs and then it's like that's where it's all it's all for keeps at that point mm-hmm uh, tell us, uh, or Peach, do you have any questions uh, before we dive into into my uh, some of the questions that I'm making up right now? Uh, <laughs> I can take over about the game one. First of all, hi, Taco. <laughs> Peach, I'm so glad that you were able uh, to join. Hi, uh, me too. That was spontaneous, and I, and I have no regrets. I just have uh, questions about game one ready to go. Should I start with this? Or... Yeah! Rock them out. But I'm just chickens, but that's okay. I'm just... I keep looking at those chickens. They're they're absolutely adorable. Um, <laughs> more adorable than me, probably. Anyways, game number one, draft. Uh, we saw May got banned, if I remember that right. You probably were expecting it, didn't you? Um, I don't... Yeah, with the patch last night, I think a lot of the meta stuff kind of shifted, and uh, so we didn't really know what we were gonna see. Um, but the you know the May ban always feels good. Um, I've been, I guess I have to admit, fine. I'm always trying to keep the the scouting information away from my interviews, but apparently people know I play May a good chunk, and so it always feels good to see the May ban. Of course, that that was a nice target ban, nice respect ban. But you saw Tychus, and you still picked. Anubarak. Anubarak has the smallest health. Anubarak has the smallest health pool of all the tanks, so percentage damage don't mean shit. Boom! Right. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wait, wait. He, just, 
<laughs> he just killed me with that answer. Like, and uh, well, and he's all he's also got the shield, right? So like, he pops up the shield, um, and so that eats up some of the damage, which it doesn't have to be healed back as well. So it just, I don't know. A lot of people are like, a new into Tychus, what are you doing? I'm like, but. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> I'm I'm with you, Peach. I'm with you. Whenever I play a new brack, I'm like I'm getting shredded by this Tychus. Uh, but you should you know, marry I mean, your healer. If well, you I mean, marry your, the, if you marry your up. healer, you'll feel they'll feel a lot more inclined to protect you. So well, Death Punisher is already married and just had a uh -oh. kid, so I don't I don't know. I mean, he was <laughs> in Australia, so I don't know how that works. If like they allow that, uh, but I think that's a bonus, right? He's he's moving back, but I don't think it's to Utah, so I don't think I don't know if that's going <laughs> to legally work. But uh, yes. <laughs> Everybody, everybody should definitely thank thank your healer and because uh, <laughs> they keep Speaking you alive. Which happy anniversary to my healer! Hey! hey, let me play something completely unrelated. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, I was like, is that my soundboard? Okay, oh, that sounds happy really anniversary. Oh, <laughs> that's Aww. all I got. That's all I got. Penis. It's a very long clip, too, of, of screaming. All right. Oh, stop Aww. dueling soundboards. Do you like that? What is going yeah. on? I'm out. Oh. <laughs> Peach is like, I'm he out of here. He has lots of me. I can't he be bothered. He has lots of me. <gasps> Did I send you the I can't be bothered clip? Uh, You put it in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, you, guys, you guys played played great game one and game two. Uh. What uh, what was the strategy behind banning out some of the heroes that you played? Let's move on to game number two when we went to all track pass. Uh, banning out the Stukov and then banning out Cassia, even though that you played those in game number one. What's uh, what were you thinking there? Uh, we weren't gonna draft them. <laughs> so you, so if you're not gonna play them, don't let the enemy have them. Uh, yeah, uh, we didn't. <laughs> oh no, uh, my my revealing secrets. Don't say anything if you uh, if it's yeah, if you don't want to. I mean. Other people read patch notes, right? That's true. Do you think so? Are you talking about the auto attack buff to Cassia? Is that something? I mean, you saw it in game one, didn't you? <laughs> uh, well, I was looking at a lot of things, and mostly I. Uh... Uh, so yeah, uh, we we saw how effective it was, and we're like, that's not our plan this game, so we're not gonna we're not gonna let them have it. I yeah, so you some... had time to actually practice it, and then that's how you decided. You know what? Yeah, we decided we didn't want none of that mess. Bye. I, yeah. I, yeah. Yep. I did see some patch notes about a new brack as well, so that's interesting that that got picked up. Hmm. Patch I, notes. You know, I was, I was tip. I was actually really tempted to pick up Crypt, Crypt Weave there to, to try it out, but into that into that comp is like, I need Trader King. I actually need Trader like, and because Rewind is a hard is a hard twenty to pass up, but the extra health and spell armor I think was enough to keep keep me alive in some of those situations. All right, my question about game number two: uh, Does Meow Meow Cats feel bad about having so much siege damage and so much experience? Is that they feel guilty at that point? Is it like lavish amounts where you're like the one percent of siege damage and experience? I think, and I might be I, I might be misquoting, but I think Meow's answer to that would probably be like my butthole. So hmm. I don't think she feels bad about it. Well, I feel really good about adding that to my soundboard later, so thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm excited for it. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Peach, do you have any questions about game number two? Um... Well, as a healer player, of course, I noticed something interesting, which is Emerald Wind. Now, was that planned initially, or that just came out, like, during the game? W which the, one? The Emerald Wind on Brightwing? Um, so, she's my wife. She never tells me what she's going to do, and I don't try to tell her what to do. That's the most perfect answer I can even... Why you always answer Weenus and you guys have a conversation, <laughs> but when I ask the question... Right, so, okay, like, so... Well, no, well you, must, no, you, you, must, you must have a, you must have a safe go word then. Go kiss your wife for that. I'm just going to say, go kiss your wife for that. Peach, 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 Peach. So I, I didn't... I, I actually never know what she's going to pick on Brightwing because both, both ults are really good. And she... It really comes down to what she thinks she needs to save us. Uh, that's what she does. She, she saves... She saves us so much. Um, and so uh, whatever in the moment she feels like is that. And I think between May and Sonya coming in, she's like, nope, see you later. 
So yeah, that I I saw a few risky Z's in during the fight, uh, especially sometimes when you guys get got separated by you know May and Jaina and Joe Sonia jumping yeah. on your head. It was I saw some really nice combinations with Sonia and Anduin. Um, yeah. And it, I will give some respect to Born, to Born to Shine as well. It's like, Brightwing was doing an awesome job on doing Emerald win, and Anduin was doing a perfect job on eating their yeah, it, teammates out of there. It was absolutely. like... Born to Shine is such an amazing healer, and I think this is know, the right? first match we played against Born that we haven't focused her on Bants. Uh, we have a lot of respect for Born and her healing, and, yeah. uh, and but, but her healing pool is just so big that it's like well we're not gonna choke her out so let's <laughs> let's go somewhere else instead i would say lots of tanks uh bands i think right Venus? i think I uh, diablo remember. was out of the game all the time i remember that yeah i think we each banned diablo once um, yeah no diablo tonight how do you how do you scout against a team that rotates members in and out uh, you know, that's a good question because we do that too, but we only have six people. Um, so as far as that goes, I have two members of my team that I delegate to scouting. And then about, uh, about an hour before the match, we talk about what we're going to ban against two and why. And, you know, it's, uh, I let them do the work. Very good. <laughs> it's a long way to say, I don't know. Good, good. I like it. Did you have any any part of the the series tonight that was your favorite moment? Um, I like the end of game two. The winning part. The, <laughs> yeah. Um. No. So it was. Uh, I liked when Vel got in the protector and didn't know where to go. That was really fun. Uh, I'm gonna pay for that later. Uh, and I. So Farf uh, and a mad respect to Nivers as well, of course. Uh, he, his Garrosh was, was really painful to play against, uh, but, and, you know, I've missed Farfanugan, haven't played, haven't been able to play against him in a while, uh, and he's such a fun tank to play with, he's always got so much, so much fun in him, regardless of what's going on, uh, and so, uh, he's just really glad to see him, and, uh, so, so just the whole game two being able to play against him was, was really fun. Excellent. Did that answer your question? Pat and, Pat and chat says that's why the scouters don't do interviews. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> All right, Peach, do you have any other uh, any other questions before we wrap this on up? I think I'm good. I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for uh, amazing games. They were so close. Lots of lots of sharp moments and sharp turns. Oh yeah, and, it, there were some scary times. Yeah, I much love to uh, defeat and you guys specifically, and 30 Seconds to Mosh and Regen Rebel, that's just, wow. Be right. Being here, I just I just fell for a second, but I'm back to Div E for a second. Like, I felt <laughs> home. You guys, both teams, <laughs> made me feel like I'm back home. And, yeah, and I'm, I'm sad that thank the you for a really teams aren't around, place. but I'm glad you were able <laughs> to make it. Thank you so much for joining. Weenus, no wacky Weenus questions today? Oh, no, there's one <gasps> more. There's one more. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. If your left hand was replaced, just the hand, was replaced by a fruit that grew back every day, what would it be? Um, pineapple, and I'd start eating pizza left-handed. Oh my goodness. Pineapple's a good one, because you can actually almost use that like as a weapon. <laughs> like, can you imagine if you're just like, yeah, my left hand's gonna be blueberries, and then you just wake up and you're like, oh, there's blueberries in my bed, and that's it for the day. <laughs> Pineapple's a good question. What about you, Peach? That's would it be a peach? That's a great question, I like that. Um, uh, uh, I cannot eat peaches, fun mm -hmm. fact, so that probably God. be some other fruit. I don't know, I cannot decide. Maybe some kind of berry, though. Maybe a cute little kiwi, or maybe like a banana and just no. be Oh, awkward. I know, I know, mango. That would be mango. <laughs> a mango. Get Bro up, mango with the mango. There you go. Don't mess with peach. She's got a mango for a hand. All right. And peaches. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Taco. Congratulations on the win. Uh, do you have any shout outs uh, so we can let you get on out of here? Uh, first and foremost, uh, you two, again, thank you so much for the casting. I really appreciate it. And as always, uh, my wife, my healer, the, she keeps me alive in game and in real life. Happy anniversary, baby. Love you. Uh, great, great Happy season. Birthday. Oh, 
into the rest of, into the rest of region rebel just what a wonderful team to to have around me and murda the founder of region and silver arrow our coach he's been really busy the past few weeks but uh uh been doing a lot of good work with us uh on the coaching front that has really brought us together as a team and of course 30 seconds to mosh just we've we've been playing against the at least the base the baseline squad for three seasons now and in the off seasons uh just always it's always a high intensity matchup full, full of love and affection for uh for the other squad it's just it's all this is always a, a match that's on our calendar so uh, uh yeah just much much respect much love thanks for the set and uh looking forward to the rematch in the playoffs hell yeah well thank you so much sir have a wonderful evening and uh we'll talk to you soon Thanks, Venus. I'm looking forward to re to watching the VOD. Okay. And you drool Apparently, you drooling. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, well, it was probably for one night only. <laughs> wait, wait, what oh, about it? We, yeah, uh, we don't we don't I, talk I about Bruno. Got, I think it got clipped. So it, uh, it did. The, no, love you. Okay, bye. 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 Have a nice day. All right, I'm gonna call Peach back. Although I don't know if she realized that. Oh yes, I'm calling you back, Peach. I we'll knew. Get, we'll get your we'll get your beautiful face up here one more time, and we will let these people stop looking at mine. Because oh, no. <laughs> I know, I know. When you hear "oh no," it's yeah, you don't want that. Let's see. Now I got. I'm gonna push the right buttons. You're gonna push that one. So chickens. Good, goodbye, chickens. Chickens, see you later. All right, and then maybe we'll just go over here and then. Oh, oh, no camera, so we'll just do this. Oh, Peach is back! Oh my goodness! Happy birthday! I'm back! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Ector has redeemed uh, request soundboard clip for 469 mother cluckers for unacceptable. All right, I gotta find un uh, unacceptable. I don't play that one very often, so I'm not sure exactly where it is. Here it is. Unacceptable condition. Unacceptable! Oh, and there it is. Thank you, Ector. Oh. Thank you, Peach, for coming out and uh, co-casting with me. It's always more fun to do to cast these games with somebody uh, keeping you sane next to them. So thank you so much. Thank you. You did an awesome job invitation. too. You did an awesome job. I'm... Even the first time, first time co-casting and not feeling well. What a trooper! In yeah, fact, as I said, everything. I have something to wish you. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. I just like playing that. <laughs> I don't know why. Did you it like it? Long, it? It's a long one, though. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. That's right. Oh, mama. Uh, Star Knight has redeemed request soundboard clip. Give me what I want, says Star Knight. What do you think Star Knight wants me to play? Ooh. Oh, I know. I, I know. Oh, I know what he... Well, it's hard to tell these days, but I'll play... Oh. oh, oh, yes, stay a while and oh. oh, but it could also be he does like this other one. Hmm, he likes this one. Report to the ship as soon as possible. We're being okay, so he likes that one too. So hopefully, we covered it with one of those. And Melville has redeemed the goat scream for 669 <laughs> mother cluckers, the moment everyone oh, no. has not been waiting for. All right, so here's the goat. Here's he's gonna scream for everybody. <laughs> And now I'm gonna do my goat impression. Ah, the first, the first goat redemption of the stream gets a goat impression. So here we go. If you have young children, look away. <laughs> and that you... went under one breath. That's ladies and, and gentlemen. And there you go. I, uh, I tried to do my goat impression, just the audio of it the other day, but my throat was really dry, and so I, I got ready to go, I was like, listen to my goat sound, and went, ah! <laughs> and that's all that came out of my <laughs> mouth, because my throat was so dry. Uh, that's what you had admitted. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep it, keep it moist. Uh, Ektar has redeemed another soundboard clip, we gotta get out of here. Uh, oh my god. 469 <laughs> uh, mother cluckers, and he says 10,000. Uh I don't think I can play that one because that one involves, I almost have said what it was, um, but I have something that's close. So I'll have to redeem a few of your points, but I have something that's close to 10,000 and it is indeed 1,000 less. Oh, where are you? It's over 9,000! 
Actually, that kind of counts. 10,000 is over 9,000, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, I know. I'll play one of Ektar. How about that? Mm, actually, I can't play that one either. <laughs> uh -oh. You know why? This is disgusting. Because it was disgusting. Uh, and if I do it, then we're all gonna we're gonna burn this place down Let's to the ground. Burn this place to the ground. All right. Thanks everybody for hanging out in chat. Thanks for all the redemptions. Thanks for the for the uh, for the follow. Uh, Leoris, Leo Rice. I want to say Leoric so bad. Um, but thanks for the bits, guys. Thanks for the redeeming your points. Um, thanks, everybody, for being here. Thank you again uh, to both the teams. 30 Seconds to Mosh, great play. We can't wait to watch you get your revenge, perhaps, in the playoffs. Regen Rebel, nice win tonight. Peach, thank you so much. <sighs> thank you, guys, for having me. It was think, a pleasure. I think I think we're out of here. And these were your teams. Enjoy your evening. We'll see you. We'll see you all later. Oh, follow, follow Peach at uh, twitch.tv slash the MV Peach.